In the early 2000s, family comedies became more about dysfunction instead of the unity that was showcased by The Cosby Show in the 80s and 90s. Damon Wayne's ABC sitcom My Wife and Kids brought back that familiarity and proved that family sitcoms could still be funny, heartwarming, and popular. The series would debut in March of 2001 to great ratings and immediately took over Wednesday nights, causing trouble for its competition. The show followed Damon as Michael Kyle living with his wife Jay, played by Tisha Campbell. They raised their three children together in the suburbs of Stanford, Connecticut. It's rare to find child actors who can hold their own against veterans, but My Wife and Kids assembled one of the best casts in sitcom history. Under the guidance of Wayans, the children on the show had no problem with finding gay chemistry on set. Their performances showcased their excellent comedic timing without lacking the heart needed to make a family sitcom work. Now it's been almost 15 years since My Wife and Kids went off air and most of the kids have kept busy since. Of course, many of us remember George O'Gore II, who was most famous for playing Wayne's oldest child on the show, Michael Kyle Jr., aka Jr. Gore's heartwarming performance won viewers over as we would laugh at his antics week in and week out, which is why George O'Gore II will remain unforgotten. Gore's story starts in Fort Washington, Maryland, where he was born. He began acting at a very young age after being discovered in preschool. When I was three, I emceed the Christmas program at my preschool, and there was a lady in the audience who knew a talent manager in New York, and suggested to my parents that their kid might have some talent and they should send in the tape. A month would go by and Gore got a call back to fly to New York to meet with a talent manager and would end up getting representation. According to Gore, his parents were a huge influence on his career, and without them, he wouldn't be who he is today. In 1992, at the age of 10, Gore would make his film debut in the hood classic, Juice. He would play Omar Epps, aka Q's little brother Brian. And from there on, the child actor would begin to catch the right people's attention. Two years after landing Juice, Gore followed that up with a recurring role on the popular series, New York Undercover, as a son of Malik Yoba, who played Detective J.C. Williams. Gore appeared in nearly 40 episodes over a four-year period. It was in 1998 that his time on the series would end and he would carry out the rest of his school years. In 2000, a young actor would graduate from Suitland High School in Forestville, Maryland. Now, just as he was about to go to college, Gore would have to face a tough decision regarding his acting career. According to Gore, he had actually intended on leaving show business because he wanted to go to school full time and become a regular guy. Now, around this time, stand-up comedy legend Damon Wayans would land his own sitcom at ABC and was in search for actors to play his TV family. According to Gore, he was hesitant to go to an audition for the show, but eventually did after he was persuaded by his mother because he had nothing to lose. However, when it was all said and done, he would end up securing a role on Wayne's then new sitcom, My Wife and Kids, and never ended up going to college as expected. Now, if the sitcom didn't work out, Gore had plans to going back to school. That wasn't the case, as My Wife and Kids would last for a total of five seasons and would become the child actor's most recognizable role. On the show, Gore played Michael Kyle Jr., a.k.a. Jr., now, Junior was the only son in the household and would always get made fun of by his family members, particularly his father, played by Damon. Junior reminded viewers of characters like Cole from Martin and Waldo from Family Matters because he wasn't the brightest and became known for making some pretty dumb remarks. Outside of the character's self-deprivation, one thing about Junior, he knew when to step up to the plate, like when he got his girlfriend pregnant in the third season. Gore's performance as Junior Kyle earned him nominations for both a BET Comedy Award and an NCAA Image Award. Behind the scenes, things were also blossoming for Gore's dating life, as it would be later revealed that he briefly dated his on-screen girlfriend in real life, Brooklyn Sudano. It appears that their chemistry in front of the camera also transferred to their personal lives as well. Now, the relationship didn't last very long as it would end before the series came to an end. In spring of 2005, it was announced that My Wife and Kids would not be returning for a sixth season. Since the sitcom ended, Gore would quietly fade away from the spotlight. Now, his connection to the Wayans family, however, looks to have kept him busy. In 2006, he would voice the lead character D-Rock 
in two Thugaboo TV specials created by the Waynes Brothers. And in 2009, he would land a role in dance flick directed by Damien Dante Waynes and produced by Sean Marlon and Keenan Waynes. Gore would then take some time off from show business, and in 2013, he would jump back in front of the camera to be a part of BET comedy series, Second Generation Wayans. The show followed Damian Dante and Craig Wayans starting their own production company with Gore, who they named an honorary Wayans family member. Now, despite having a notable amount of hype, Second Generation Wayans would only last one season before being canceled. And according to IMDb, that would be Gore's last credited role. In a 2017 interview with The Don and Show, which from research is Gore's most recent on-camera interview, he referred to himself as a former actor and a current writer and producer. And when asked about his transition to Behind the Lens, Gore would go on to say, I like the anonymity of it. I'm not good at being famous. I'm a quiet guy. I like being creative. Just focusing more on my writing now. He would go on to reveal that he's been doing some uncredited writing since the ending of My Wife and Kids. George O'Gore II would come into the Hollywood spotlight at a young age and would make his mark with one of comedy's most loved characters. So if he decides to stay behind the scenes, one thing is for certain. George O'Gore II, aka Junior, will always be unforgotten.